The first step to qualifying a wall wrap media is to analyze and identify the surface. This video doesn't select specific media for you. I want to give you some tips on how to properly test a wall for media compatibility. The first step is to identify the various challenges each surface feature poses. Brick walls have mortar lines which will vary in depth from job to job. While block walls generally have shallow mortar lines, the surface of the blocks can be very textured. Concrete walls need to be sealed, and if they are painted, the paint must be tested for both paint adhesion to the wall and vinyl adhesion compatibility with the paint. Stucco walls have perhaps the most difficult textured surfaces for vinyl to adhere to. Another important factor in choosing wall graphic medias is service life. Do we want to put a laminate on this graphic? If you do use a substrate laminate, you're going to get less definition in deep contours, but you will protect the image from things like wear and tear and UV. If you do use a liquid laminate, roll it about a half an inch past the edge of the graphic. This will stabilize the vinyl, lowering the chances of shrinkage. When you've determined the surface details and the expected service life of the graphic, it's time to choose the correct media. If the surface is an aggregate, like brick, cinder block, or concrete, it is important to take note of things like the severity of the contour. Has the wall been sealed or primed? Many types of exterior paint are chemically resistant. It's really important to test the media you want to use to be sure that the adhesive on that media is compatible with the paint. First, run a hand over the wall to check for any loose particles such as dust. If you feel loose grit of any kind, it is important to remove it dry. We suggest a sturdy hand and a coarse broom followed by a tack cloth or lightly dampened towel. You need to remove any loose aggregate or dirt, but you don't want to get the wall wet. Aggregate surfaces like concrete blocks or bricks can take days to dry out. Sometimes dry cleaning a wall just isn't enough. Some walls found in public areas like subways need to be power washed. If you're going to power wash a wall, make absolute sure that it is completely dry before you try to do the test. If you are not sure which media you should use, always test all of your options side by side to see which performs the best. A4 size samples are perfectly sized for this kind of test. Begin by peeling the liner halfway. Many wall products have exceptionally tacky adhesives, so removing all of the liner at once can make the test much more difficult. Smooth the vinyl out with your hands, making contact with only the high points of the texture. Use a roller to secure the edges before using heat. Unsecured edges will immediately shrink when heat is added. Start applying heat in the center of the sample and roll from the center out to the edges, following closely behind the heat gun. Apply slightly more heat and pressure in the mortar line. Repeat these steps with each media you choose for your side-by-side -side test. Mark each sample carefully for future reference. Allow the adhesives to set for a minimum of 24 hours. And now we can see the results. Sample number two lifted in the corners, the most common place for a failure. Also, the edges are starting to roll back. And the channels are lifting as well. The media is shrinking back here. Sample number two is not compatible with this wall texture and sample one has perfect compatibility. The corners are firmly in place, the edges are staying down perfectly, the channels have not lifted, there is no shrinkage along the sides, 
and every detail in the texture shows through perfectly. This is the right film for the job. Next, test the adhesion value of the vinyl to the wall surface. Again, sample number two is obviously not compatible with this wall texture. Sample number one has bonded well. You can see how the adhesive is cured into the porous aggregate surface. You can see how much tension I have to apply to remove the vinyl, and some small particles may come with it. Now, imagine this is a painted wall. We see that the vinyl's adhesive is compatible with the paint, but will paint come with it upon removal? To test this, snap the vinyl off with a sharp yank. If it removes paint, make sure your customer is aware of the end result to be expected when the wrap is removed. Conducting a test like this takes a little time and patience from both you and your customer but finding a compatible product for your wall wrap is worth it.